Hello everyone, this is Sir Fadal. You're going to the video, and this time the video is all about incomplete records. If you haven't subscribed the channel, do subscribe it. You are watching without subscribing the channel, you will miss a lot of details which are very important. So I'll just tell you this thing: hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon so that you receive the video as soon as possible before others could watch this video. So this video is all about incomplete records. This is the topic of all of us accounting, and this is the topic where the students feel very difficulty. The reason is that because there are certain things the students don't know as you have watched as you are watching my videos so the first thing which is very important i'll tell you the prerequisites of this the first thing which is very important regarding this topic is uh, which is the ratios the ratios is the thing which is very important you have to complete this ratios topic second topic which you have to complete before you jump on to the incomplete records is control accounts in the control accounts you have two control accounts which you have to make which you know how to make it which is sales ledger control account and other is purchase ledger control account so sales ledger control account and purchase ledger control account is a separate topic where you learn how to put values and how to get uh, things okay why do you need to uh, just complete these things control accounts the reason is that because the examiner would give you something how the question will start let me tell you that uh, the question will say that there was a junior accountant or oh, sorry not the junior accountant there was a fire okay there was fire over there and uh, because of that fire or maybe there was a robbery over there and because of that your accounting records become incomplete or maybe there there was an inefficient person who was making entries so he what he was doing he was doing single entry this topic is sometimes called a single entry system incomplete record or single entry system single entry system we have already learned double entry system which means every debit has an equal and opposite credit in the whole uh, slavers. But the single entry system tells you about this thing that the examiner is only uh, recording single impact of this. So you need to just find out things out of these things. So first thing is ratios. In the ratios, the most important becomes the markup and the margin ratio. Okay. The second thing which is important is control accounts, which is uh, the prerequisite for that. And the third thing which is important is the bank account, the cash and bank account. Okay. Uh, the cash and bank account why it's important just to find out some of sometimes it, he or she will uh, ask you to find out the uh, cash sales okay or maybe the receipts from customers that is how much the customer has paid uh, to the business so that's why you need some details to be paid maybe the balance bid is given sometimes the examiner will ask you to calculate the balance cd of bank okay in this in this uh, sale and control account you will find out credit sales okay and in this purchase ledger control account you will find out credit purchases so you need to remember this thing that purchases and sales need to be found out okay one more thing which can be found out from the bank and cash is takings takings means sales and something uh, which is uh, let's suppose uh, there was a drawing from the owner okay so drawings means that you are withdrawing something from the business so you need to just take it out in from the bank slash cash column so these are the prerequisites ratios topic if you haven't the, haven't watched the video there is there's a video on ratios topic control accounts again there will be video soon on control accounts and the last thing becomes a bank slash cash in the control accounts the examiner will not tell you will not give you this thing that the full flash t account is there of control accounts which we learned in the control accounts chapter it will not be there there will be only balance bd there will be only be uh, credit sales and then the on the credit side of the sales ledger control account there will be sales return discount allowed and just the balance cd okay that's it there will be not be anything special in that the code the t account will be concise so if i give you an example over here you will be making like this a t account of sales ledger control account so i'm just writing it down slca in order to save my time sales ledger control account just putting the dollar signs the balance pd the balance which will be given in the question over here you would have sales returns okay over here you would have discount allowed and the last thing would be bank and there would be balance cd so this is the total t account which will be of the sales as a control account and on the debit side it will be sales okay so i'm just not putting the dates because i don't have any dates just i'm assuming the dates are not giving at this time but the examiner will give you the dates in the examination so you have to put the dates you have to put the year i'm assuming it is 2019 okay so this is the total format from where you will find from here you will find sales so this sales will be credit sales okay but in the income statement what do you do 
you record total sales so total sales is equal to credit sales plus credit sales plus cash sales okay so cash sales you will find it out from the uh, t account of bank but many of the times the examiner will give you a hint that the business deals in credit customers so maybe there is no cash sales or sometimes the examiner will say the business only deals in cash so it means there is no credit sale again it depends on the question second thing which is purchase ledger control account again i'll give you the format for that plca purchase ledger control account which is uh, it starts from the credit side which is balance bd given in the question the purchases figure which is again it will be the balancing figure in this question and then on the debit side it will be purchase returns okay and then it will be discount received then it will be discount received then it will be bank then the last thing will be balance cd okay so you just need to remember this thing that you have to follow this format again the dates are very important i'm not writing the date because this is just a format so i don't have dates 2019 i'm assuming this is the same year so we just write it down and just uh, we follow we just find it out the purchases figure because the purchases thing is missing in the question again we'll write total purchases in the income statement so how do you find total purchases uh, credit purchases which you find found out from the plca plus the cash purchases which will be given in the t account okay plus the cash purchases so we'll add both of these we'll just write the purchase in the in the income statement okay then there is something which is in the ratios part which is the markup and margin i'll tell you a brief i'll give you a brief idea in this video markup and margin margin it is applied on sales okay there will be percentage that suppose the question is saying 40 percent gross profit margin gpm gross profit margin you take this 40 percent you directly multiply it by sales markup means you multiply this percentage with the cost of sales okay cost of sales so you have just 30 percent markup let's suppose you just multiply this 30 percent with the cost of sales you will get gross profit once you get the gross profit you will go for reverse working you have the gross profit you have the cost of sales you add both of these you will go reverse working you will get the sales but it would be simple it would be easy if i am if the question would be like the way i am telling you but it's not so simple the examiner will give you margin in the question and the examiner will give you cost of sales so you cannot apply margin to cost of sales that's the biggest problem so what would you do you would convert margin to markup that's very easy how I do it, I'll tell you in this video. How I do the markup to margin, I just follow this technique. See, uh, if you have, if the margin is 40%, okay, 40% of, 40% uh, means that 40% of sales is your gross profit, okay. So let's make a uh, just um, let's make a equation over here. Sales is equal to cost minus profit, okay. Sorry, I'm, I need to just rearrange the video and in this video, I just have to write it down like uh, the profit is equal to sales minus cost of sales. Okay, so just write it down. Profit is 40%, 40% of what? 40% of X. So I'll write it down 40% of X, 40 percent is 0 0.4 0 0.4 of x and what is x x is sales minus cost of sales maybe if we consider cost of sales uh if li like i'm saying that if it is margin given in the question so you will have the figure of cost of sales okay it's very sure that you will be given cost of sales you cannot apply margin to cost of sales it's not possible so what you will do you will be given cost of sales in the question let's suppose it is forty thousand. so you just put forty thousand over the cost of sales rearranging the formula in such a way that it can be solved so 40,000 has gone over here and is equal to x minus 0.4 x so 40,000 divided by 0.6 is equal to x which will give you the answer and x was sales originally so remember this thing there are teachers who give you the formula of markup to margin plus 100 minus 100 I don't get that formula that's very difficult for me even as a student I did not get the formula so it's better if I give you something simple something easy because I, you are watching my video so it should be something more simpler than it uh, can be so again you have this thing you can put the uh, this equation you can go for the formula and then you can get an answer so i hope i'm done with the 
explanation of incomplete records there will be past paper questions there will be past paper practice in the future time period with the future videos but so far these are the things you need to have a good command on double entry system in order to make a bank slash cash amount cash book uh bank slash cash t account so that you could be able to uh take out the takings drawings or anything else which is there uh to be calculated so i hope you have watched the whole video and if you haven't subscribed do subscribe the channel so that you can get the videos easier accounting concepts as soon as possible uh, if you haven't liked my facebook page then it is fahad ali the link will be in the description and there is a group which is save humanity so you can just like that facebook page facebook group that is save humanity it is a charitable group and i will suggest you to just like that share that and if you want to sub uh, if you want to support me in any way you can just go to my patreon channel and just just contribute as soon one as low as one dollar so that i can give this donation to someone else okay so thank you for watching subscribe like share comment and give it to other people all goodbye